2011 MacBook Pro CPU heatsink replacement. Begin by shutting down and flipping over your MacBook. Remove the seven short Phillips head screws starting in the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the three long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. Logic board removal. Unscrew the three T6 fan screws but leave them in place. This will make it easy to track them when you're reassembling the unit. Disconnect and lift up the fan. Disconnect the speaker. Disconnect the EyeSight camera. Disconnect the Wi-Fi card. Disconnect the hard drive and the DVD-ROM drive. Disconnect the trackpad. Then disconnect the keyboard by lifting the lever. Lift the lever of the, the keyboard backlight as well. Disconnect the LVDS cable. Disconnect the battery indicator. Remove seven T6 logic board screws. Disconnect the two Phillips head screws holding down the LVDS bracket, but leave them in place. Lift the bracket. Tear the microphone glued to the case. This cannot be skipped. This is a very important step. Lift the board up at an angle and flip it over there's one more connection disconnect the DC and power board CPU heatsink removal disconnect the speaker first trace down and disconnect the microphone from the logic board remove the glued in speaker you should feel some resistance Remove the three Phillips head spring screws that are holding in the heatsink. Remove the heatsink and clean it with a cloth. Clean the CPU die as well. Remove any dry thermal paste. CPU heatsink reinstallation. Apply no more than two drops of thermal compound. Reinstall the heatsink, aligning it with the screw holes. Reinstall the three Phillips head spring screws. Reinstall the speaker by placing it. There should be enough adhesive left. Reinstall the microphone. Trace it down along the speaker. Reconnect the speaker. Logic board reinstallation. Reconnect the DC and power board and put the board in at an angle. Make sure to push all cable connections out of the way. Insert the board in. Reinstall the LVDS bracket with two Phillips head screws. Make sure it's going over the LVDS cable. Reinstall the seven T6 logic board screws.
reconnect the LVDS cable make sure to lock it and reconnect the battery light indicator reconnect the backlight for the keyboard make sure the eyelash is up put it in and put down the eyelash now reconnect the keyboard also make sure the eyelash is up this is one of the most difficult connections make sure to take your time and insert the keyboard cable in once it's all the way in and pressed in go ahead and flip down the keyboard lever reconnect the trackpad reconnect the hard drive and the DVD ROM drive reconnect the Wi-Fi cable reconnect the speaker now you can reconnect the eyesight camera cable reinstall the fan tighten the three T6 screws attach the fan to the logic board make sure to go over all your connections before you put on the lid Reconnect the battery. Reinstall the cover. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Then going around the contour of the MacBook, install the seven short Phillips head screws.